Hello students, I am Jamin Pandya. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about a new chapter which is a water. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about water treatment for industrial and domestic or municipal use. The treatment of water can be divided into three major categories. One is a purification for the domestic or municipal water, treatment for the special industrial application and third, the treatment of waste water. So always remember that the difference between uh, treatment of waste water, difference uh, between uh, purification for the domestic use and purification for the industrial use. This all have a different types of process are used for this particular treatment. For wastewater treatment, uh, which have high amount of waste and hazardous chemical, so it requires primary, secondary, and tertiary treatment. Where, in uh, for the industrial application, we are taking the water from the rivers, right? So it requires uh, a small amount of treatment, such as the uh, internal treatment and external treatment. Where for the domestic use, we require a different plant which we can use or we can use a water for the drinking purpose and this water from, come from the ground water right so this all treatment have a different type of uh, treatment method all these process have a different type of uh, treatment process right now let's first discuss about the domestic water treatment or can say that municipal water treatment so water treatment for domestic use in the modern water treatment plant is often called upon to perform wonder with the water fed to it. The clear, safe, even tasteful water that comes from uh, fluctuate waste water and industrial water. Right? A schematic diagram of a typical uh, domestic waste water treatment plant is shown in this figure. This particularly facility treat water containing exclusive hardness and high level of iron the raw material water take from the wells right so here we are taking uh, water from the wells or can say that ground water right we are taking out a uh, water from uh, ground using the wells right so the raw water taken from the wells from first goes to the aerator right so it go to the editor and contact of water with air to remove volatile solution such as a hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, methane and volatile odorous substance such as methyl uh, uh, CH3 SN right. So it used to remove the various type of um, solute, volatile solute such as a hydrogen sulfide carbon dioxide, methane and volatile order substance such as CH3SH and bacteria right now it contact with the oxygen it's also a to removal of iron by oxidizing uh, iron oxide which is an insoluble iron the addition of uh, lime the addition of lime which, uh, which is known as a CAO or uh, we can also use the CaOH2, right? After addition, rise the pH and result in formation of precipitate containing hardness of Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus. This precipitate settle from the water in primary basin, right? So it settle in a primary basin. Uh, much of solid material remain in uh, suspended and uh, require the addition of coagulant such as uh, iron tris and aluminate sulfate which from the gelation of metal hydroxide which are settled down and collide particle right so it becomes collide particle and settle down and uh, then collected for the sludge right then it uh, go for the addition of coagulant and CO2. So this participate first is a settle down in a primary basin. Much of the solid remain in suspension and require the addition coagulant such as uh, uh, to settle the collide and uh, particles. Activated silica or synthetic uh, 
पोली इलेक्ट्रोलाइट मे ऑल्सो बी एडेड टू सिम्युलेट कॉक्यूलंट और फॉक्यूलेशन द सेटलिंग अकर्स इन सेकेंडरी बेसिन आफ्टर द एडिशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो आफ्टर एडिशन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इट्स फ्लोवर इट्स पी एच इज न्यूट्रलाइज एंड वी कैन न्यूट्रलाइज पी एच और वी कैन डाउन द पी एच ऑफ दिस स्लरी द स्लज फ्रॉम बोथ प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी सेकेंडरी बेजिस इज फॉर्म टू द स्लज कलेक्टर और स्लज लगून द वॉटर इज फाइनली क्लोरिनेटेड राइट वॉटर इज फाइनली क्लोरिनेटेड फिल्टर एंड पम्प टू द सिटी फॉर द वॉटर इन विच द वॉटर कैन बी यूज फॉर द डोमेस्टिक पर्पज राइट सो दिस इज द वॉटर ट्रीटमेंट फॉर द डोमेस्टिक यूज नाउ लेट डिस्कस अबाउट फॉर द इंडस्ट्रियल यूज और कैन सी दैट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वॉटर फॉर द इंडस्ट्रियल यूज वॉटर इज वाइडली यूज इन वेरियस प्रोसेस एप्लीकेशन इन इंडस्ट्री अदर मेजर इंडस्ट्री यूज आर बॉयलर फीड वाटर एंड कूलिंग वाटर द काइंड ऑफ काइंड एंड डिग्री ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वाटर इन दिस एप्लीकेशन इट्स डिपेंड अपॉन द एंड यूज ऑफ दैट वाटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल द कूलिंग वाटर मे बी रिक्वायर ओनली मिनिमल मिनिमम ट्रीटमेंट रिमूवल ऑफ क्रोजिव सब्सट्रेक्ट एंड स्केल फॉर्मेशन सॉल्यूट इज एसेंशियली फॉर द बॉयलर फीड वाटर राइट so in uh, normally if uh, we uh, we need water for the cooling purpose we need to only remove the corrosive material but if we need uh, water for the uh, for the boiler feed water then we need to remove scale formation and water is used in food processing which must be free from the bacteria and toxic substance so improper treatment of water for industrial use can cause the problem such as the corrosion skill formation reduce heat transfer in heat exchanger reduce water flow and product contamination this effect may be cause reduce equipment performance or a equipment fail, a failure which increase the energy cost due to the insufficient heat utilization or cooling it's also increase cost for the pumping water and product deaeration which obviously affect the treatment of water minimum cost for the industrial use is a very important uh, area of water treatment there are a number of factor must be taken into consideration in design and operating in industrial water treatment facility this include the water requirement then quantity and quality available of water source Uh, sequential use of water such as excessive use for the application uh, requiring uh, progressively for the lower water quality water recycle and discharge standard these are mainly two way for the treatment water for the industrial use such as a uh, internal treatment and external treatment right so internal treatment and external treatment are uh, both are method from which we can use or we can treat the water for the industrial use in a external treatment usually apply to a plant or entire water supply to use process such as a aeration filtration and clarification to remove material that might that might be cause the problem from the water such substance including suspended or dissolved solid hardness and dissolved gas following this basic treatment can be divided into different stream or some to be used or without the further treatment and rest of be treated for the special application as we have discussed in a previous topic that uh, for the boiler treatment we require to remove scale formation for the cooling water we require uh, just uh, corrosive material to remove from the water for the food processing we need to remove bacteria and toxic substance so external treatment is widely depend on which type of specific application is required now let discuss about the internal treatment internal treatment is a design to modify property of water for specific application for example of internal treatment include the reduction of dissolved oxygen with the hydrogen on sulfide addition of the cleaning agent to react with the 
Ca2+ which known as the hardness and prevent the formulation of uh, calcium deposit addition of uh, the some chemical to remove the calcium treatment with the uh, inhibit scale or inhibitor to disappear scale addition of inhibitor to prevent corrosion uh, addition of some chemical to adjust the ph disinfectant for the food processing using to prevent bacterial growth right so this all are process which uh, we can use as a internal treatment now let's discuss about the hardness of water so what do you mean by the hard water hardness in water is primary or preliminary the result of concentration of calcium and magnesium right the sum of water utility remove the calcium and, uh, and magnesium to soften the water and improve its quality for the domestic use other ions that produce a hardness including uh, iron manganese then uh, zinc aluminum but this iron are generally not present in significant amount or significant quantity therefore total hardness is usually defined as a sum of magnesium and calcium hardness in milligram per liter right so hardness is measured in milligram per liter in form of cso3 or magnesium right total hardness can also define as a carbonate hardness and non carbonate hardness so what do you mean by the carbonate hardness carbonate hardness is a portion of total hardness present in form of carbonate salt such as ca h co3 twice this becomes carbonate salt and second one is a mg h co3 twice right so this both compound is a carbonate compound uh, and uh, it's mostly used for the carbonate uh, carbonate hardness now what is meaning of the non carbonate hardness non carbonate hardness uh, is the portion of uh, calcium and magnesium present as a non carbonate salt such as caso4 right then uh, cacl2 then uh, mgso4 and mgcl2 so this type of salt present in water is known as a non carbonate hardness where well, this type of uh, salt present in water then that type of water is known as a carbonate hardness right some of these two becomes a total hardness for most of application total hardness of 120 mg per liter or less and manganese hardness of 40 mg per liter or less appear to acceptable design in a certain criteria for softening facility so what may be a hard water in one area may be preferably accepted water in other area is not accepted right in general degree of hardness is classified as a soft hardness moderate hardness hard hardness and very hard hardness so soft hardness is known when um, cso3 present from 0 to 75 mg per liter if co co3 present 75 to 150 mg per liter then is moderate if it's present 150 to 300 mg per liter so it's known as a hard hardness if uh, it's above the 300 then it's very hard so this is all about the hardness of the water